Hello folks, I think it now could be 10 weeks since uh, the wheels last turned on this poor fella so I thought uh, we could do another little journey back to his glory days, back to the big trip and today I thought I would bring you as far north as we travelled being proper Northern Irish people, we don't like getting too hot and so we had made the decision to keep going northwards through the summer and then go southwards during the winter in the hope that if we kept heading north for July and August we wouldn't start to cook uh, and sure enough Norway didn't let us down in that regard, this is us in August uh, as we headed up through the wilds of Norway. Now cloudy skies or not, this was actually possibly our favourite stretch of the entire trip. There are hardly words to describe Norway, it just, uh, it is mind meltingly beautiful, it is just, it, your soul just soars every time you turn another twisty corner of an another tight little mountain road. And this was one of the things we were really keen to see, one of the bucket list sites of the trip. The Atlantic Road is this spectacular sequence of swoopy loopy bridges running along Norway's own version of the Wild Atlantic Way. It was great fun to drive it. but it was even more fun to sit sipping a cup of coffee watching other people driving it. And so that was another one of our absolutely perfect overnight stops. Norway has this fantastic thing where you're able to stay in a motorhome just in car parks and laybys, but we're never quite sure whether it's officially allowed or whether it's just that everyone turns a blind eye to it. But either way, to be able to just sit on your deck chair, watching the boats coming in and then watching a spectacular sunset over the Atlantic road, there's almost no price you wouldn't pay uh, for an experience like that. And so to get it for free, well, you just cannot get better than that. And then just a little bit further north, Trondheim with all its beautiful multicoloured buildings slowly rotting down into the river. That was as far north as we got. Uh, we realised Norway really does start to close down for the winter. The roads closed, the mountain passes, the campsites were all closing down. So it was September by now and it really was time for us to uh, start heading south and uh, start looking for a little bit of winter sunshine. Not before the excitement of being back in civilization got to us and we had our most northerly McDonald's and our most northerly cup of coffee and even our most northerly dinner out, even at Norwegian prices, before we started heading back south and onwards to more adventures. So that's another 28 photos. So with gratitude for all the days we've spent exploring and all the days that are still to come, Pray with gratitude while we are safe at home. For light in a dark world. For hope in a fearful heart. For peace in a troubled soul. <laughs>